Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create fixed ladder rivet family. In this video, I will create three part of ladder, step, support, and base plate, and then load and combine into main family. And I will refer those dimension in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. To create stepper, open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 250 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for length. Select instance and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 16 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Go to create. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Offset 3 mm and create another similar. Finish the sweep. Back to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 16 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the void extrusion. Back to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Cut the geometry with the void extrusion. Select the void extrusion and mirror to right side. Back to reference level. Select the void extrusion and edit it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Save the family. To create main family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 250 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for stringer spacing. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2500 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for ladder height. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 1000 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for safety gate support height.
Select Instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 380 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for safety gate support spacing. Select instance and click OK. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 300 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for safety gate support offset. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 200 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open front view. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Offset 3 mm and create similar. Finish the sweep. Back to front view. Select the geometry and mirror to right side. Select the geometry and edit it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the editing. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 12 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for base plate thickness. Select instance and click OK. Go to create. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open left view. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Offset 3 mm and create similar. Finish the sweep. Select the sweep and mirror to right side. Select the sweep and go to edit. Sketch path and edit profile in left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the editing. Check in 3D view. Back to reference level. Insert and load this created stepper family into main family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. 
Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Align the stepper to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Assign length parameter to stringer spacing. Go to family type. Check and play the stringer spacing parameter. Parameters are working. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 300 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for stepper spacing. Select instance and click OK. Select the family. Array to the below reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the array family. Add a new parameter for number of stepper. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for number of stepper parameter. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. This is base plate with anchor bolt rivet family which was created in face base family. You can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. Insert and load this created family into main family. Go to 3D view. Place the family on face section of stringer. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. To create stringer support, open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 300 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for length. Select instance and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 24 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Offset 3 mm and create similar. Finish the sweep. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the void extrusion. Back to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Save the family. Insert and load this created family into main family.
Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family and mirror to right side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 1500 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for stringer bottom support height offset. Select instance and click OK. Select the family and copy to down reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family and mirror to right side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the base plate family. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Select the families. Assign length parameter to stringer support length. Select instance and click OK. Select the base plate family. Create similar and place on face of support section. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the base plate family. Associate base plate thickness parameter to base plate thickness. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Parameters are working. Save the family. Let test the family in this project. Insert and load this created family into project. Check the ladder in different floor level. Okay. Fixed ladder creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. 
Thank you for watching.